Yukichishin. Hey YouTube, Dogrichishin84 here and welcome to Kuren Day number 165. Let's kick it off. And um, <clears throat> John Cross actually has the first question for this one. How about Elemental Hero Moon Neos? Is this a suggestion replacement for Air Neos? Because it, if it is, I'm not sure this is one that sh could replace it. Because the Moon, Hummingbirds and just Air have nothing to do with the Moon. However, if you're suggesting this as a new um, Neos Fusion monster that could come to the game, I guess that would be interesting. Um, I don't know what its fusion materials would be. Um, but, um, but it does have a cool name. Next questions are from Gunnar. One, um, what do you think of Night Shroud Atticus Rhodes? Yeah, um, he's a cool character. Um, uh, very suited in a villain role, definitely. Um, yeah, that's, um, yeah, it's quite an intense, um, side of that part of Atticus Rhodes. Um, it's a shame that um, he's one of those characters that just loses every single duel he's in. Um, uh, uh, yeah, very cool character. Don't have a bad word to say about him other than the fact that he's a villain. <laughs> Two. What do you think would happen in the entire GX anime if Atticus won in Season 1 against Jaden in the Volcano as a Shadow Rider? Yeah, that would have been really bad and would have made things a lot worse since the main protagonist is down and had his soul sealed in a card. And I guess Atticus would have taken... Um, uh, the other half of the Shadow Charm? Um, was that what the Gravekeeper's Chief gave them? I'm not sure, but um, yeah, who knows what Night Shroud could have done there. And I guess in that situation, uh, Alexis would have stepped in to try and duel him. Um, but what would happen would depend on um, whether or not Night Shroud would beat any of the others who've been given a key. Um, I mean, I feel like um, Zane would have had the best chance of beating Atticus um, if Alexis fell. Um, but either way, they'll have lost one or two spirit keys. Um, although, um, whether or not Alexis or Zane would have won against Night Shroud, Jaden's soul would have been released from <coughs> from the card, um, and the plot would have just carried on the same way. Um, but the only difference is, um, they'll have less spirit keys, and, um, Abnail, um, would have stolen the rest of them, and then, well, everyone would have been screwed, basically, um, as Abnail would have brought the spirit keys to the place where the sacred beasts are, unlocked them, and uh, just given them to Kogimaru. Um, now, whether or not 
Jaden would have still dueled Amnail regardless is another matter. Um, I mean, if he did, then he still would have got Sabatiel. Um, but then again, um, even if Jaden didn't get it, would he have still won against Kagimaru? It's hard to say. Um, it would have been harder for him to do. Um, I think. Um, unless the later stages were rewritten in a way that Jaden would still be able to win anyway. Um, so, I feel like that's w what would have been different. Um, otherwise, well, had Jaden lost against Kogimaru, then the world is screwed. Um, and there'd hardly be anyone left to challenge Kogimaru. Um, I don't think even Yugi um, oh, would have stopped him if um, if the spirits of his cards were taken as well. Um, so yeah, there would have had to have been a plot where some cards were remade and. Um, And maybe um, the Neos and the Neospatians would have come into play a lot sooner. And um, <coughs> Jaden would have somehow been able to get a hold of them and uh, challenge Kogimaru again, defeat him, and release the spirits of um, all those cards that were taken. Yeah, that's what I think would happen, one way or another. 3. Why do you think Atticus dueled against the Gravekeeper's Chief and earned one half of the medallion? <sighs> Honestly, I have absolutely no idea. I guess it depends whether or not it was Atticus being himself, or whether he was Night Shroud. Um, I mean, it's unlikely um, he would have dueled against the Gravekeeper's Chief by himself anyway, unless <coughs> unless Professor Banner somehow tricked him into facing um, the Chief like some time ago, um, like before the events of Season 1. Um, I guess maybe um, he felt that Atticus was a really strong duelist and he would have used him to get at the Shadow Charm. But then again, that wouldn't add up. Because it's like, well, if Banner wants it so much, why doesn't he duel against the Gravekeeper's Chief? But even then, um, he'd only get one half. Um, and, um, well, he wouldn't have won against the Chief anyway, because after Jaden dueled the Gravekeeper's Chief, um, he said only one other passed the challenge, uh, the other being Atticus or Night Shroud. Um, so I would think it would be more plausible that Night Shroud would have taken on the Chief. Um, I don't know if it was his own agenda, or whether it was orders under Kagimaru. Um, so, I feel... Then again, it would be more likely Night Shroud's own agenda. Because um, he would want something that would protect him from shadow magic of some kind. 
um, or just anything that the good guys might try and do. I don't know. That that's more likely. That would have more likely been the motive behind it. And the last two questions are from Matt and Alison. Uh, excuse me, Matt and Alison Welch. <coughs> What? <coughs> Sorry, I've got a cold again. <laughs> One. If you could create your own dual discs, what would it be like? Um, mine would be something dark magician like, with the dark magical circle in the center to symbolize what my specialty deck is. <sighs> Honestly, I feel like I would have chosen the same thing, seeing as it's my signature deck. Um, so, yeah, I just copy you basically. Um, then again, you did say <coughs> um, dual discs, um, so I didn't know if you meant just one or multiples. Um, if you mean multiples, then I would have also made something with um, like the elemental hero symbol on it um, or modeled it after skyscraper or skyscraper 2 or something if elemental heroes would have been the specialty and the last question with Mahard and Mana being made into real cards do you think we'll get more palladium monsters soon? for maybe Blue Eyes White Dragon and maybe even Exodia and the Egyptian Gods. I don't know about more Palladium monsters um, since they're... well, <clears throat> Mahard and Mana um, are more related to Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. Um, so, and well, they don't really have anything to do with those other monsters. Maybe we'll get a Palladium Oracle monster for Dark Magician of Chaos or Magician of Black Chaos. Um, but um, I don't think we'd get Palladium monsters for Blue Eyes, Exodia, and the Egyptian Gods. Um, Although, um, maybe they'd get something similar, um, it's hard to say really, um, then again, um, maybe the Palladium archetype could mix with the Eyes of Blue archetype, you know, maybe we could get um, a card version of Priest Seto um, and, um, you know, that could um, be the support for Blue Eyes. And as for Exodia, um, I mean, maybe there could be one for Solomon, and um, rather than say special summon, you could add one Exodia or Forbidden One card from a, a deck or graveyard to hand. Um, that would be cool, and would definitely be more supportive of the Exodia archetype rather than these Millennium cards. Um, because uh, with Millennium Exodia, um, it doesn't really have anything to do with assembling all five pieces of Exodia. Um, they only seem to support the legendary Exodia incarnate, which kind of falls away from the usual strategy. Oh, I know. Exodia Necros and Exodius um, come away from the usual strategy, but um, I don't know. 
Um, and as for the Egyptian gods, um, well, um, actually, actually, yeah, maybe this could be a palladium. Well, I guess all of them could be palladium monsters. I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, that could be an archetype based off um, the ancient Egyptian incarnations of um, those certain original series characters. So um, there could be a card version of a Tem, and um, yeah, that could um, special summon the Egyptian gods or add them to hand. Um, of course, there would be the downside of um, the gods being sent to the grave during the end phase if special summoned off this monster. Um, unless um, an additional strength was added, um, where it says, uh, while this card is on the field or in the graveyard, Divine beast monsters do not have to be sent to the graveyard by their own effects during the end phase. And something like that would be cool. Um, and uh, yeah, that is it for questions in this episode. Thanks very much for your guys' questions. Really cool ones again. And if you've got any other questions you want to ask me, post them in the comments down below. And remember, I do these episodes every Tuesday afternoon or evening, UK time. So be sure to get your questions in before then, so that you don't miss out. Thanks again, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Dark Magician YouTube channel.